that will move to the Nigerian Labour Congress has announced plans to commence a two-day nationwide protest on Tuesday, July 26, 2022, in solidarity with the ongoing strike action by the Academic Staff Union of Universities. This was disclosed in the circular issued to all the state chairmen of the Nigerian Labour Congress. The circular signed by the National President of the Congress, Ayuba Waba, partly read, quote, We bring you fraternal greeting from the National Secretariat of the NLC. In line with the decisions of the National Executive Council meeting of the NLC head on June 30, 2022, we have scheduled as follows the national days of protest to back our children back to school and support our unions in Nigeria's public universities fighting for quality education. Now that's the issue, Mazi, we've had with the Nigerian Labour Congress. Solidarity protests with us, so the students have been at home for over five months now, if I'm correct. Yes, over and, five and then it's been, it doesn't seem like there's an end to this. Uh, let me get your reactions on that. Once again, I appreciate your invitation. Thank you, Mazi. Um, Labour, Nigeria Labour Congress. I think they've lost the trust and confidence of Nigerian workers hmm. and Nigerians as a whole. Labor is no longer labor we used to know, right? And people have accused labor leadership of being compromised. Um, coming now to say they want to identify with, uh, with our students, who are our children, our grandchildren, that uh, have been at home for almost close to six months now. It's late. Why have they not started it? I wanted to see a situation where they would, would have included, want to protest that despite that the students are at home, some politicians bought a nomination form with 100 million naira, each person. They didn't attack that one. Mm. It should have been added that why we are saying this that the politicians the government are there the politicians <coughs> have 100 million naira each person to buy votes while our buy students the, buy i'm sorry buy the forms while our children at home languishing doing all manner of things sort of things that are not i mean uh, expected from them having said that anyway i don't know how um, Nigerian workers will respond to this. They become toothless bulldog. They can only back, not buy it, because they made themselves there. I stand to say, and I stand corrected to say that they are coming too late. Six months. This is not. This is the second um, the strike. Yeah. Remember, the strike has been going on. What they have they attacked the governors of this country, the states of this country. There are states that have not been able to pay the, even the minimum wage. Exactly. There are some states that uh, some of my age mates who are retired many, many years ago, right? Their, 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 their pensions are not paid. Their graduates are not paid. Some of them died, uh, slumped on the queue. Some of these governors, now those who have ended their second, who are going to end their second term, and they have not jumped into the Senate. And they are, so, so my governor is celebrating. I, 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 was, I was annoyed when I see somebody, some people posted the incoming senator from other South South. So, labor should do the needful. They should go back to their former love. Where when labor, ordinary cough, mm -hmm. Nigeria shakes. But as at now, um, why people will say, well, let them join, say sympathy, strike, uh, people, are not, uh, people are not interested. Assuming even this labor had caused strike for that, nobody will listen but to Matthew, them. just to add this, you, you mentioned labor should go back to their former love than when, mm -hmm. to that when they cough everywhere. Shake. I remember the time of Adam Tomshomole as the, as the leader of the Labour Congress. Yes. We saw something like that. That is what I'm so talking I about. I don't know what changed. Is it not, after... is Adam Tomshomole. He was there as a governor for eight years, right? Did you hear him speak against the government? This is a man who rattled our passenger. But what yes. happened? What changed? Man? This is a man who said, Mr. President, you are the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, but I am the president of Nigerian workers. Let us see. And he brought our passenger to his knees. 
I stand to be corrected. So but immediately he picked up the governorship. Mm -hmm. He was a governor for eight years. He has been the chairman. He was the chairman of uh, of um, APC? APC until his war chairman uh, mm -hmm. threw him away. Right? Mm -hmm. Has he even come out? Has he come out to condemn, to say enough is enough? But he, he, all of them are because their children are not there. So I, if, you are, if their children, look, it was there now last week. We read that uh, one of the governors, eh, his child graduated from a university in UK. Jordan, the, the voice of the, the, the son here. Uh, I, 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 it's better you mention his name because <laughs> the other time I mention somebody, they say, Mars, they take it easy. Governor Wiki, they all went. What about Erufai? What about other, even the president? Are his children, are they studying in Nigerian University? Assuming, let me ask you this question, two of you. Assuming their children are in the country and have been at home. When they go out, they come back and see the children. The children, the children, will, be, the children will not be happy with them. Okay, man. They will call them wicked people, like Nigerians are calling our leaders. L l let's look at you know the two day strike. Um, mm. the, the, will it be effective? It's a warning, sympathy strike. Will it be effective? It's for two days, and do you expect all members of the Nigerian Labour Congress to comply? You know to this. I will respond by saying, talk is cheap. It will be they will they, it will be on the state headquarters where the Nigerian Labour Congress in each state will converge and uh, make some demonstrations. Nigerian workers are not interested. But of course, uh, if they say you should go on strike, well, the private workers will not go. Yeah. Private workers will not go. Maybe, um, I know we can, we can say, I am paying the 30,000, and the, my student, my uh, private students, uh, those in private universities, they might not even join, right? So, uh, it might not be uh, um, achieved 100%, but it will go a long way. It's a sympathy um, strike. But let them go beyond that. Let them go strike on injustice. Let them go uh, on strike on fairness. Let them go back on governance. But then, Matt, now, this is a step in the right direction. They have to start from somewhere. Who, who why are they waking, waking up now? They've been sleeping all along. They've been sleeping all along. Uh, what are you asking me for? Nine, I mean, uh, um, five months, is it five days? Is it five weeks? After nine, um, five gone solid months. And your children are still at home. And this is on the first, uh, first strike. This is on the second strike. Strike has been like that. And what are they striking for? The betterment of education. You pass through universities. Mm -hmm. did you, you as a lady, did you use the toilet there? No, of course not. Eh? Say it so that they will hear it. You didn't use it. I asked the same question. Um, Jordan FM, that the lady said never even she never went near there. So he said we discussed about the the the, the rot in toiletry in universities last time. Um, okay, this, basically. so these are the things <clears throat> apart from their their, their own welfare. Mm. They are talking about the welfare of your children, the future of. Do you know that it think it is very difficult for a graduate from Nigeria to to get employment in overseas okay. because of the quality, the poor quality <laughs> of education. Even as a lawyer, you don't go there and practice. Even doctors, they now subject them to other rudiment, other training, because they knew we are producing hard graduates. Okay, Mazi, let's look at it this way. I mean, back to the issue of protest. Yes, over the course of next um, two days, that's um, next week, Tuesday and Wednesday, you will have um, the protest. But after the protest, if the industrial action by ASU continues, what role will you expect before you learn have the government made the conditions well they've not met the conditions so what what not. gives you an impression that the strike i mean the actual will call up their strike that's what i'm saying one of the presidential candidates met with you know um the nance um that's the national body for um students um there's the possibility that other uh, candidates would also meet with them to try resolve the impasse but here's my question after the two days solidarity uh, what protest, next if ASU still fails or the federal government fails to meet with ASU's conditions and the strike lingers, what else do you expect NLC to do? They will not do anything. They, they will say they sympathize with them. That so it's not for them. after the two days, that's... After the two days, nothing will happen. Even before you ask me this question, I've asked you, what has the government done to make sure the ASU strike is called off? Well, One of the presidential candidates said that he's going to do that. that. Right? Has come to me Why has he not come out before now? That's issue. He made that statement because of Osho's election. He made that statement. 
and he's going to include it in his campaign strategies. That's the same thing they campaign. There'll be a steady power supply, right? This is uh, seven, seven and a half years. Mm -hmm. Here, do you run on Nepal? Now, I, I, I went to one of the students and said, my church, do you know how much we spend on a Sunday alone, apart from the weekly activities, depending on diesel? Do you know computer village? Do you know if neighbor is working there? Do you know how much they will be realizing? Right? And other things. No, our, our manufacturing companies have collapsed. Some of them have relocated. They've left Nigerians. They've, sorry, they've left Nigeria. And Nigerians as well. Because when they left Nigeria, they were, the Nigerian workers are also, I mean... Um, laid off. Yeah, been laid off. So they left Nigeria and left Nigerians. So if Nepal, if what they have said... Seven and a half years, the same thing Jonathan did. The same thing about what has happened to the amount of billions of dollars that have been invested. Ordinary prepared me to provide it. What is the order of the day? Is an estimated bill where a person living in one room is given 30,000 a month. For what have you? So, uh, those of us using prepared, don't we suffer because there's no light? If there's light, you enjoy it. But we go pay as we use. Right, we have dead down that then corruption. Corruption have they fought it to a standstill. Like I said here, sometimes Obi said, We do respect that you don't close your shop and be chasing the thieves, right? And he may mention it was in my church, my church headquarters in Enugu on uh, on on I think on Tuesday or Wednesday, Assemblies of God. He said. Don't vote for me because I'm a Christian. Don't vote for me because I'm a liberal man. Don't vote for me because I'm from Southeast. Don't vote anybody because he's from North or South or West. But vote people who have conscience. People who have the fear of God. And you go and watch the antecedent. When they say you have done that, go and verify. These people, they, they, you talk about the presidential candidate of APS that coming to who said that he's going. Why has he not done it? To make sure by now, our president. I think we discussed. Was it here, say enough is enough? When a president said enough is enough, it's a it's a law. They will all go out to make sure that the president demand is made. But it's about a week now he made that statement. What has happened? Has also changed? Also has not changed. The Minister of Education walked away during the negotiation. And the, the, the Minister of Labor in Gigi also has not been helping matters. So you have question to me after two days, so what next? I leave it for you to answer. Because there's nothing to show that something will happen. Because ordinarily, as they said this now, they will now move their action uh, um, with their word with action. Talk is cheap. Them go beyond that. That's why I say let them go back to their drawing, to their first love. Paul was writing, let us go back to our first love. So the president should have even called the ASO executive combo. Like I said, was it here? Yes. I said, but he said, even the agreement of two, 2000, 2009, you are committed, they've not signed it. Another one, 2000 something, they've not signed no, it. No, Come, let us resist together. God was the first dialogue person god called children of israel come let us reason together is that a way forward but he said he will call right call the asshole let us sit down look who this one i can do it I, it was you that asked me on the phone that i will do this i will do this right we bring out um demand and supply need and want then you tap, uh, try to scale of preferences mm -hmm. in elementary economies. This one is important to let us do it. Agree and show commitment. Show sign. Show seriousness. Show sincerity. There's no credibility at all in the part of government. Mm -hmm. Okay, but lo looking at it now, so, um, I mean, from all indications, it, it looks like this to these um, solidarity strike or protest will just be in vain. And, and workers will use as as part of the holidays. After we, we enjoyed Tuesday and Wednesday last week. So okay. Nigerians are good in uh, holiday. Okay, but where does this leave the education sector? If, in I bad mean, shape. 
if the, the, the labor, you know, as um, a, a force itself cannot wade into issues like this, that also has to do with They should have done that earlier than now. To solve no, is issues. It, they, they say, I think you know the common, um, they say, prevention is what? Better than cure. You said it. What have they done? They know the implication. And most of them, eh, from A to Z, pass through public universities. Most of them on scholarship. Both federal and state scholarship, even international scholarship, they enjoyed it, and their children are there. That is why they are not bothered now. If their children are in the uh, public universities, would they, they won't be happy. They won't be. Look, I, I think the, the children, are, the students are. I mean, in primary and secondary school, yeah. they are vacating this week. Yeah. Right now, stay with your children only one week. You run away. We got the trouble. They will eat. They make noise. They will fight and settle themselves. The demand will be much. Assuming a child who is on final year, who's supposed to be writing his or her project now, who's supposed to be, I mean, going, I mean, trying to sort out himself or herself, is still at home. But then the moment they call this strike off, give it, one, it should be up to one month. They will subject them for examination. They will, I mean, what they expect them to give? It's unfortunate, very unfortunate. But so the two days strike is um, uh, additional um, holidays public to holidays. the yeah public holidays. Oh. So that's why I say it. nothing will happen. Matthew, earlier when you mentioned about dialogue and mentioned the fact that God was the first person to have called for a dialogue. Uh, on earth ever mm -hmm. and then um, they just don't, just don't remember let us forget that at, in february the president february uh, Feb, the president nominated or brought together a three-man committee to talk with the ASU, to talk with people of the ASU, and reports had it that they didn't meet well that may be for reasons i do not know but then with this dialogue as it has gone back and forth don't forget that even, genuine dialogue <laughs> even when, when, when <laughs> it was it was last two weeks right it was yeah last two weeks mm -hmm during the phone call uh, program yes. you asked me i said genuine dialogue and, is important. Has been and that is what uh, p2b too. has said i'm not campaigning for him we pick people that's why i said when somebody make these politicians make, make some say, pick their word digest it now leave the messenger uh, address the message look there must be do you know why that um uh, um that uh, negotiation didn't work also said we don't have confidence in them again. We don't have trust in them. We don't, and they will come to the public. I read it. We also said they they went ahead and said that they invited them for, for me. They've not invited them more. And he said after the last discussion, they promised to call them. They never called them. And the the also president said he has never changed his number. If you call a number for a meeting, it doesn't work. What do you do? You send a test. Each time you are inviting me here, you send a test. You also call to confirm what I've received the test. Right? If this one doesn't go, this one will go. So these are the complaints. Credibility is not there. That's why they say we want, we want. Okay, even on the president side of it. Since he been inaugurated, he appointed three man committee. Abby? Since February up to now. And the, the strike is still going on. What has he done? Okay. The Minister of Labor is there. Mr. of Education, is, that, is it not time to fire them? Okay, Mazi, um, in wrapping up this conversation, um, it, it talks about you know having a genuine dialogue. Who are the members you would expect right there at the table? Um, it seems like the Minister of Labor is not getting it done. You worked out the on them side. now. So, um, would you say Labor, for example, NLC should also be involved in these negotiations? Who are the parties that should be involved apart from ASU and um, probably Minister of Education and Minister of Labor? <clears throat> There's a situation a case will reach. Mm -hmm. You have in-house, in-house discussion. Okay. When there are people you call in into your inner room, like uh, our president said, in another room, and there's nothing wrong with our president, our president, the vice president, the senior president, and the other call the laborers in a very peaceful atmosphere what is the way forward i don't want this nonsense that enough is enough is what you would have said let there be credible people labor will respect 
I mean, the, the ASO will respect. ASO is not respecting these people because they are not telling the president the truth. And the president is not seeing the handwriting on the wall. How can you be a president? Your institutions have been shot for the five, uh, five, um, uh, past five, five months. You are sitting. You say it's enough, it's enough. Since you said that, what has done, what have you done? By now, everybody, 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 everybody would have been on, on, the, on his foot walking. But nothing has happened. So your question is that there are people that these people will listen to. Uh -huh. They have respect for. Not the governor, so. Not any of the politicians, so. There are people, credible people in the society, right? They, 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 they will have to bring them in. And they also, also, bring people in, Luko, in a very good atmosphere. We have all seen and come short of the glory of God. Also, we have done wrong for allowing you to have gone on this. Please, what is because for the sake of our children, for the sake of our education, for the sake of Nigeria. So, how do we move? Please, we can't do this. A soft world, turn it away, rot. All right. Okay, Marcy. Good place to wrap it up. Yes, it Marcy is. just spoke like um, a father and also. I, I could feel the... It's an elder statement. Yeah, I, I said that he's also a father, a grandfather, and also an elder statement. Too. Yes. Thank you so much, Martin Chine. It's my pleasure once again. So I, I want you to join your voices to appeal to the government and also okay. to um, get back to the drawing table oh. and let the music play. The music that we play here is uh, for our children to go back mm. and let them honor their agreement that will be reached. Let them... Um, um, they, um, let uh, the government come halfway, also come halfway, and reach an agreement. Reach an agreement. Oh, yeah. and I forward. believe that they, they are hearing mm -hmm. and they will do the necessary, uh, take necessary steps towards achieving this. Well, thank you so much once more, Mazi Jine Dumobioha. That was Mazi Jine Dumobioha speaking with us right here in the studio. We'll take a short break now. The show is gradually coming to an end, but after now, we have the spot segment. Then we'll bring you social media boards. Please stay with us. <laughs>